Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and this quick tip I want to talk to you about tail light placement for the honeycomb style tail light. Now the honeycomb style tail light was around uh, for the American market, that is, uh, late 55 to 61 beetle. And say if you're doing a you know, ground up restoration and you need to mount uh, these tail lights, if you have the original fenders, you're good to go, but many times we are forced to get new fenders or source later German fenders and the hole placing is going to be different on, a, on an aftermarket fender and on a, a later German fender anything after uh, 61 so 62 to 67 fender will work on an earlier car but the whole taillight placement will be different so you're going to have to modify this and to make it look somewhat original now when you kind of come down level with this it's usually uh, Word of mouth is going around that you know the bottom of the tail light goes straight across to the overrider bar here on the bumper, and that's a good indication that you're at a good height. But if you do say use the later holes or the aftermarket holes from the new fender, the tail light is placed much higher. And uh, to some uh, VW purists and to many out there, it looks kind of funny. So I'm going to show you how or where I found information on how to mount these correctly. So let me just quickly show you here. Here's an aftermarket fender, and the new aftermarket fenders, anything up to 67, uh, usually the, you know, the Brazilian or the Mexican or the Italian, they will have these hole mountings. And this is, you can make this work for the honeycomb tail light, but again, it's going to be placed a little too high. I mean, you can see where those holes are. I mean, it's, it's up pretty high. Uh, so it looks kind of funny. I mean, it does work. But it does look kind of funny, and I have seen cars before that uh, have them, you know, have the tail lights placed up there. Plus, the way this whole configuration is does not really work with the brackets correctly for those earlier tail lights. So um, you're going to have to do some modification. So what I usually do is I tell my painter to just fill those holes in. Okay, whether they weld them up, they can fill them up, and then I will make the correct hole placement. Uh, for the tail lights, because I've done it before, where I give them a template and they still don't get it right. So then they got to redo the fender again. So uh, let me show you what I did. Uh, come around over here. Made myself a template. Now I have in the description below this video, you will see uh, a picture that I grabbed off of the Samba, and a guy was uh, very nice to let the VW public know how he did his tail light placements with certain measurements, you know, based on the corner of the fender and whatnot, and say here is where the bumper bracket slot is, here's the overrider tube uh, hole. And so what I did was when the fender was off the car, I was able to then kind of draw the straight line here, which is the edge of the fender that gets to that corner, and then when it goes straight up, and I was able to do this fellow's measurements that he had on the Samba and he shares. I've got to have that picture for you uh, like you see here in the uh, in the video right now. This is the picture that I used and I'll have a link to this picture in the description below so you guys can download this and use this uh, for your beetle. Um, so basically uh, I did mess up a couple times like always right you know the first time first stab at it you might mess up but uh, this is basically the way the hole mountings are on a honeycomb tail light. So I'll kind of show you a car now that we do not have the holes drilled yet and I'll show you how we uh, marked up the fender and we did go by these measurements that you see here and those measurements are also in the picture uh, that you can grab. Okay so here's a project beetle that you see here. This is a 56 beetle oval ragtop that we're working on for a client and as you can see we had the fenders painted uh, but no holes drilled. I told them not to drill the holes uh, because I wanted to do that. Now you see here, I did mark up where the tail light placement would go. Then you get yourself some drill bits and then you can drill the holes for this. So it's also in the diagram. The picture that I, I gave you to download gives you the size of the drill bits to use. So what I did was, so as you notice, the fenders are not bolted on. I have no bumpers on. I have nothing on. So then it's easy to put this kind of sheet of paper here that you could pick up uh, anywhere really arts and crafts store or an auto parts store to just basically give yourself an outline and you know the the most important thing is to you know where the corner meets where it comes down to the bottom of the fender 
that sort of thing, you got to be somewhat precise with the lines here and you just basically trace this piece of paper before you start doing any drawings on here so you get the general outline of the fender, okay? So then you can take the piece of paper off and then start doing your measurements, okay? So follow the diagram, uh, the, the picture that I gave you to download and you'll see you'll be able to come up with these holes and that's exactly what I did and when I did a rough placement of the tail light it actually came out just right. So um, very good information that I found on the Samba. That is a very useful website for information for stuff like this and to help you guys with your vintage Beetle, you know, because many times these, you know, brand new aftermarket fenders or anything 62 to 67 are not going to have the hole placements right. If you have the correct fender and it's original to the car, it should have those holes there. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that's basically it, guys. So you can get yourself a piece of paper like this. You make your measurements and then you're good to go and you just mark it up. You make a little hole in the paper and just mark it up and now I got my placement for my tail lights. Not bad, right? Uh, I'll probably have a later video uh, when it comes to even the earlier tail lights like these uh, that sit even lower so you figure the egg tail light or the heart tail lights, the popular heart tail lights, um, these sit even lower on the fender so I'll do a, uh, a video later on in regards to those uh, placements. So, all right guys, if you've got any questions, uh, Chris at classicbwbugs.com and make sure to look in the description below for the link to this picture. Okay, good luck. Uh -huh.